Becoming a professional player in the world of esports is difficult. Becoming one of the best is even harder. Translating that success into one of the biggest brands in the entire space and then turning that brand into a successful competitive team is a feat so extraordinary that only a few people in history have been able to accomplish it. Andy Reginald Din is someone who has accomplished all of this, making himself one of the most important people in the modern esports landscape. Upon the release of League of Legends, Reginald immediately established himself as one of the best mid laners in all of North America. With an entrepreneurial mindset, he decided to create his own team under which he would compete at the start of 2011, Team Solo Mid. While esports teams functioning as business organizations already existed, including brands such as Complexity and Fnatic, esports organizations were nowhere near as common as they are today. Reginald was keen to try his hand at creating this sort of business using his own ability within a growing game as the backbone. Armed with a strong understanding of how the industry worked and where it was going, he was able to build one of the most successful brands in all of esports in an astonishingly short amount of time. As both a competitor and business owner, Reginald understood that having a winning team was of utmost importance. He immediately assembled one of the strongest teams in North America and the world, routinely making it to the final stages of major competitions. This included a third place finish at both the Season 1 World Championship and MLG Raleigh 2011, as well as the finals of IEM Season 6 in Cologne. In late 2011, TSM won their first major tournament at MLG Providence, and from that point on, there was no looking back. After a few dominant years, concluding with a victory in the spring split of the newly formed LCS in the first ever split in 2013, things got shaky for Reginald as a competitor. Falling short in the finals in the summer split, Reginald realized that he was no longer the standout mid laner he once was. With his attention also being put on running the team as a business, it was time for a change. He also took into account that as the team owner, there was an unhealthy dynamic between him and his teammates where he wasn't just their teammate, he was their boss. He made the executive decision to step down as a player and replaced himself with Bjergsen, one of the most talented mid laners in the world who still represents TSM to this day. This awareness of both himself and the larger picture is what has made TSM such a formidable force within the industry. Not only was TSM one of the greatest teams, but they also had the best marketing in the business by far. Reginald had the team on a strict streaming schedule where no matter what the time of day, you can tune in to watch a TSM member play League of Legends. As streaming was still a very new phenomenon at the start of the decade, this was a remarkable level of foresight. He started one of the first online shows featuring his team, TSM Legends, and also had the team move into a single gaming house. This is fairly common today, but was unusual for that period. Within that house, they were able to create and embody Bay Life, a common saying for those living in San Francisco, which has become one of the phrases most commonly associated with the TSM brand. In conjunction with their incredible performances in-game, this level of ingenuity and dedication to the expansion of their brand catapulted TSM to the highest level of esports organization in significantly less time than most of their competitors. While some have criticized Reginald for his abrasive personality and tendency to be heavily involved in all levels of decisions within his organization, especially on his League of Legends team, there is no disputing the success he has found. TSM has won 11 domestic titles, an IEM World Championship, and made it to nine other major finals. The team's last public valuation was at $250 million in late 2018, making it the second most valuable company in all of esports. They have teams and players representing their brand in competition in seven major esports titles, streamers such as Hearthstone's Kriparian and League's Hi, I'm Gosu, as well as players in blossoming games like Team Fight Tactics. Few organizations operate with the scope or dedication to excellence that TSM displays, and Reginald is the driving force behind all of it. Named to the Forbes 30 Under 30 list, the rest of the world has recognized what esports fans have known all along. Reginald is a driving force in the rapidly evolving world of esports and will continue to be for years to come.